Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing sort of more of a vlog because I started making videos on TikTok with Disney Bound and I kind of wanted to show you guys the process of that because it is currently taking up a lot of my time and I had a craft that I was working on. It's halfway done but unfortunately the wig that I was going to be filling with flowers and bedazzling it's not going to be arriving until April 21st now because I ordered it right before Amazon decided that things that are not essential, which fair enough, um, are not going to be delivered, which is fine. But I wish I had known that before I ordered the wig that said it would be here in two days. And this was a week and a half ago. So today we're going to be doing a vlog where I show you how I'm putting together these TikTok videos because I'm getting a lot of awesome views, comments, like the response has been so wonderful and I'm also just kind of figuring it out. It only took me a few days to kind of figure out what works for me on TikTok. So, you know, here we go. All right, so first of all, I look black trash um, because I want to show you guys really from start to finish the steps that I'm taking in order to put these things together because in the end it's only like a minute long video 59 seconds but it does take a number of hours to get that video ready um so i'll be taking you through the process so first things first what i'll do is i'll wake up and decide okay what disney movie do i want to do bounds based on and what i started to do is to take that movie and try to tell the story of it through the outfits so like today, I think I want to do Rapunzel. So I tried to think, okay, what are the series of events that happen in Rapunzel? Um, okay, so she's born and she's stolen from her parents. There's a magic flower that glows. There's Mother Gothel, who's her mom. Oh, she's in her house, stuck there. She wants to be saved. Pascal, Flynn Rider. So I'm trying to think of like, what are these looks that are gonna help me tell the story? So I put together a list and then what I do is I'm gonna go through my closet and find different items that I think make sense for each of the characters. So I've pulled a couple of things aside. So I'm gonna show you what I pulled aside and then we'll see if it's what I end up choosing. Cause sometimes I don't even know exactly which one I'm gonna wear um, or if something's gonna work. So I really like this, what I've been doing because it's forced me to discover new looks that I never would have even imagined possible from the clothing that I have but it's also shown me that I don't have very many nudes or browns um and I have a lot of like every other color but neutrals I should probably get a few more neutrals when this is all over and I can go back to goodwill but let's go ahead and jump into the things that I've pulled so far to do our Rapunzel Disney bound TikTok <laughs> all right so first things first I'm going to show you what I pulled so thinking about Rapunzel, I pulled a couple of different things. So first, my eye went to this purple dress that I have, which to be honest, is too big for me and does have a broken zipper. I bought it for on like super sale at Unique Vintage for like $15 or something. And I was like, well, $15 dress, that's normally like $90 is probably worth purchasing. Um, so I can wear it, not out, but I think I could wear it for this if I wanted to. So if I wore this, I would probably pair it with something light pink because her color scheme is purple and pink. Um, but I also was thinking, if not the little sweater, maybe I could find a way to put the puffy sleeve pink dress underneath this. I don't know how silly it will look. Um, but this kind of sleeve is much more of a Rapunzel sleeve than just like the little sweater. So I would love if this worked. And I think that the lighter pink is actually more Rapunzel as well. Um, though her dress does kind of appear in different shades and different iterations, to be honest. But, um, hopefully that will work. So that's the idea for Rapunzel at the moment. So, um, I'm either going to start the story with the flower, like the glowing flower, um, or Mother Gothel. I'm not entirely sure yet, but... If I were to do the flower, I think I'd want to do this like gold dress that I have. Um, because even though it's like, technically it's more like glowing yellow, I think the gold shininess kind of speaks more to magical. Um, so this is my idea for that. Again, I don't know if that's really going to work in the storyline to like be the flower, but I think it's interesting to start as the flower and then come be Mother Gothel stealing it. 
So for her, I have two different ideas. I have this dress, which I just got at Goodwill, like my last trip before everything was, you know, closed forever. Um, and this is so fun. It's not really very vintage. It's just kind of fabulous. So that's my only like drawback with using it. Um, and then if I want to go something more traditional, I've got this guy, which I used for a hook in my, in my last TikToks, um, which is a gift from my mother for, for Christmas, um, which I haven't actually worn until that last TikTok, but it's really cute. Um, even though it's slightly too big for me, but you can't really tell with the belt. All right, so those are two Mother Gothel options. We're just gonna have to wait and see, I think, to see what looks better. Then I was thinking that Pascal shows up. So for him, I think just simple with a light green. Um, I don't even know if I wanna mix another green with this, just because he is like all the same color. Um, but I might add a purse or something. I'm not entirely sure yet. Maybe a different pair of green shoes will help um, bring some of that out. Then we got Flynn Rider, so one of the few <laughs> brown skirts that I own, and um, it is also super messed up on the back because I tried to replace the buttons with these clock um, buttons, and it was already missing buttons, and it worked for a little bit, um, but then it popped because it's a very tight skirt, and um, <laughs> the buttons didn't want to stay, uh, but it was cute for the moment. I originally sewed on these clock buttons to be Gus Gus um, for a Disney bound during Halloween, which was very cute, the Cinderella clocks. Um, and then I have my classic puffy sleeve shirt here. And I don't have a blue vest, so I was thinking the blue dress underneath the brown skirt with the puffy sleeve shirt. Again, I don't know if this is gonna work. This is just my current idea because it's the best thing that I have for him in my closet at the moment. Which brings me to another point. I need to get some vests. I need to get on that vest train because I've seen like Rachel Maxi wear a lot of vests recently and I was like, man, those are freaking cute and it can like help make any look more vintage. Um, and also like Disney characters, like princes and stuff, they're wearing vests and I would like to have some vests. So. At the list. All right, and then I was thinking of Maximus the horse. So he's all white with white hair. In the uh, Tangled series, he has more of like blonde hair. So I pulled a couple accessories, not entirely sure. He's got like a brown saddle, so I was thinking a brown belt. Um, but Flynn Rider also has a brown belt, so I might need to use that for him. I'm not sure yet. Um, and then he has like little touches of gold because he is part of like the royal guard, even though he's a horse. So I was like, maybe a bow tie. I don't know, it's gold. Um, so I might have to look further into this look, I think. But um, we'll see what feels more Maximus to me. And then I wanna do um, a thug. I was thinking specifically hook hand. I have this great shirt that looks very thuggish to me. And then this is the only brown that kind of matches for the bottom. Even though I think he might be wearing more of a green, so I'm, I might pull out my green skirt. I couldn't really tell, it's hard to tell in the pictures that I found what his full color scheme was. And I wonder if I, I had a hook hand at some point in time. I don't know if I still have that. Um, so I might do a little deep digging to see if I can find it, but um, we'll see whether or not I've got a hook hand happening. And he has this like giant like belt that covers like most of his um, waist and stomach so I'm not sure accessories wise I think it needs something more to feel um, like him and to feel thuggish so I'm gonna probably have to look through like different types of belts and stuff to see if anything feels like chunky enough to make sense so we'll have to circle back to that and then oof. Then um, I was thinking about the Royal Guards because I want to show like Flynn Rider getting captured, right? That's part of the story. Um, so they're wearing like gold armor with like red sleeves underneath and black pants. So I have the black obviously pants, the red little sweater. Um, so I was imagining if there's some way that I could like tuck this dress <laughs> behind and wear these pants. I don't know if that's possible. Otherwise I have this like uh, mustard yellow turtleneck because I don't really have like a gold top. Um, I do have that gold dress 
that I showed you. Maybe this actually would be a good choice on top of some black pants. Maybe, I don't know yet. Um, but depending on if I'm gonna do the glowing flower, I also considered doing a lantern, but I feel like if I do the flower, then I shouldn't do the lantern as well. Um, but we will see. So then the last look that I'm thinking is to do her mom. So she is really mostly purple. So I have this skirt that's got like different shades of purple and then my off the sleeve puffy shoulder purple top and a little purple hat. I might switch that for something gold um, on top to be like her crown. But that is the current idea. So um, with my story arc of her like finding her mother at the end um, and I think that's going to be my ending, so then I'll probably circle back to Rapunzel. So I'm considering using a wig um, for my first Rapunzel look. I haven't been using wigs in these TikToks because it's more about the styling of the outfits than it is about like trying to do a costume. Um, but I think that it might be interesting to do that so that I can go from Rapunzel with the long blonde hair to Rapunzel with the short brown hair at the end of the movie. So I'm going to look into that. I'm not sure which of my wigs uh, would make sense for that as well so we're gonna have to take a look in there but first things first I've got to put on my face because we can't look like a trash panda when we're filming this TikTok so let's go ahead put on some makeup style my hair I have sometimes been doing it vintage but since I'm considering wearing a big a wig a big a wig um, I'm probably not gonna do that um, I'm just gonna style it in a couple different cute ways so I want to change my hairstyle kind of throughout the video so probably we're just gonna straighten that. It's like still kind of wet from last night. God, it's, I'm sorry here, I did you dirty. Um, so we're gonna fix it and uh, let's go. All right, here we are where you can see the true horror of my hair. So let's just <laughs> try to fix this if we can. Okay, I feel like my hair looks normal enough. Also, this is literally the best dry shampoo that I've ever used. My mom bought it for me when we were in Florida and I was too sick to go to Walgreens to get it for myself. All right, so let's put on makeup. Um, so what I've been doing is since I'm not necessarily doing the character, I wanna do a pretty neutral face um, because I'd be, be playing a bunch of different characters. Um, so I'm probably, I might add in a little bit of purple in my eyeshadow just to be reminiscent of Rapunzel, but otherwise I'm going to keep it really simple. So let's give it a go. All right, we look like a person. So let's get into our first look, which actually is not gonna be any of the looks that we've seen. It's gonna be just a cute vintage look for me to do the opening to my video. All right, let's see what we can do. I feel like something kind of cute, polka dot Disney-ish would be good. I'm trying to go with something that's kind of more neutral <laughs> with the red book dot dress, but something just a little, a little bit more simple or, um, but still special and something that's not going to look like I'm attempting to Disney bound a character from the film that I'm working on. So I want it to be my like beginning look that has nothing to do with it. So this could be really cute. And if I were to wear this, I'd probably wear it with my white off the shoulder top 
um, and then some cute little black shoes. And I think this is a good look. It shows people that I'm a fun Disney page too. All right, dress is on, hair is styled vaguely. Not sure if I'm gonna continue with this, but we'll see what it looks like when I get out there. But let's go ahead and set up the space so that we can start filming this TikTok. Okay, so this is the space, the house that I've been filming my TikToks in um, with the vintage map and the background. It just worked really well, but obviously there's a lot of clutter here. So what I do each time is I just move all the things that I don't wanna be in the shot in the shot and then I arrange the camera to make sure that I'm not getting anything like the TV even in it. So I'm gonna do that quickly right now. Now we just have the record player in the shot. So I'm gonna flip my phone and get ready to film this. Okay, so here I'm adjusting to get just the space that I want. I don't wanna get anything on the edge. So like there I'm getting the TV, I don't want that. And I want to make sure that I'm getting my shoes in the shot, so I'm going to lower this just a little bit. There you have it. I'll see you on the other side. I wanted just to show you guys kind of what the process looks like on TikTok. So what you can do is choose a song, and then if you go to your timer, you can actually select small portions of it. So then I can count down from 10, get into position, and try to match um, where I was in the last clip that I recorded. So here I'm doing my Mother Gothel thing. I have that um, set to specific time it's gonna stop. I can go back, I can look at it to see how it looks like in relation. So here's my first clip. There's my second clip right there. And now we're gonna see the third clip. There I am grabbing the flower from myself. Um, and this kind of just plays on repeat, which can be annoying, but, uh, it's really helpful to have the timer. I didn't like that segment, so I deleted it, but, um, I was able to see what the matching of that was like. Um, and then whenever you do delete it though, you have to go back and select that portion of the song. But this way I know when the song's going to end, um, that portion. So when I'm recording, I can choose... Um, you know, what p the pose is that I want to end on. So here I'm going to do it again and we'll see how this looks. Bring the flower in, incantation. <laughs> Trying to brush my hair. The next character I'm going to do is Rapunzel. So I'm going to try to find something that I can do that's going to link the two things together. Like how I linked this turn together. I'm going to try to do the exact same thing here. And I'm just gonna repeat this process for every one of my outfits. So once I've got all the clips filmed, I'm gonna start adding effects on top. So I can edit in TikTok, I can clean up all the clips to make sure um, they're exactly the way I want them. I can add fun effects like these flowers, I can add sparkles, text. So I'm gonna be using all these different effects in order to help tell my story. Um, so it kind of just depends. I kind of go with what I feel. Um, some moments may not need effects at all because there's not one that makes sense. Um, but a lot of them, I think, can be upped with something fun, especially like the bling effect. It makes things quite sparkly, which I like. Um, but uh, it also is something that should be used sparingly because it, uh, it may make things look insane at times. Once I've got everything edited the way that I want it, um, what I'm gonna do for my last and final step is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save it on TikTok, but I'm actually not gonna post it. I'm just going to, to make it a private video so that I have it downloaded onto my phone. Then I'm gonna airdrop it to my laptop because the final step that I wanna do is add in little pictures so people know all the different outfits that I'm referencing from the film. Now we need to find our images. So I'm just gonna go to Google on my laptop, type in Rapunzel, see if I can find a good picture of her. Preferably something with a frying pan because I used one in my TikTok. So I'm usually trying to just match the picture to the looks that I did. Um, and if there's something specific that I'm referencing, I'd like to try to find that in the picture as well. But sometimes that can't happen, but oftentimes I am able to do that. So I'm just gonna save all these pictures to my downloads. And I'm gonna repeat the process for every single one of these outfits. Uh, 
I've got my last picture, so now we're gonna head over to iMovie and import both the video from my phone and all of the pictures that we just found. So basically what I'm doing is just putting a little picture inside um, the actual video. So I'm gonna go to each individual look and then for as long as it looks on screen, I'm gonna make sure that I have the image there to match it. And we're gonna repeat that for the entire video. Now that I have that done, I'm just gonna go ahead and save it as a file so I can send it back to my phone. But I'm gonna show you guys what the finished product looks like. Um, noted, I had a lot of looks that actually did change and two looks that were added in, so I hope you enjoy. this video i hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of behind the scenes of how i make these tiktoks um if you're interested in seeing other ones that i've made you can follow me on tiktok it's the queen of glitter over there as well i can try to link i don't know if i can do a tiktok link in the description but i'll try um and uh this one's gonna be posted tomorrow we'll hopefully have a new one posted every day that's what i'm trying to do right now so far so good it does take a lot of effort though as you can see so at least while we're in quarantine i think i will be able to make that happen but that's it for this video, so thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys, stay sparkly. Bye-bye.